you must be suffering from nagging fungal nail infections. As a dermatologist, I have seen it in many. At the end of this video, you will get the tailor-made answer for your nail problem. Let's move to today's topic. We will be talking today about how you can actually get rid of nail fungal infection, as well as all the prevention things that you can do for prevention. Prevention is the key when it comes to trying to make sure your feet are nice and healthy and your nails stay nice and healthy. When a nail thickens, discolours, splits and lifts from the nail bed, it often indicates that the nail is infected by a fungus. Fungal nail infections are more common on the toenails than the fingernails. Fungal nail infections tend to run in families because of an inherited tendency. Not everyone is susceptible. To prevent nail fungus, dermatologists recommend the following precautions. Keep your toenails trimmed short. This helps prevent debris from building up under the nails and minimizes the risk of nail injuries. Cut the nails straight across to keep them strong and wear shoes that properly fit. They should never touch your toenails. That helps to prevent ingrown toenails. Choose breathable footwear. Fungus thrives in warm, moist areas, like in hot, sweaty shoes. Making sure that the air goes through and out and change your footwear from time to time. Try not to wear the same shoes all the time. Wear sandals whenever possible. And if you have to wear socks, choose ones that wick moisture away from your skin. Use antifungal sprays or powders inside your shoes and on your socks before putting your shoes. Before a workout, avoid going barefoot in public facilities like pools and locker rooms as the fungus that causes ringworm and other skin conditions may be on the floor. Even when taking a shower in a public place, it's important to wear shoes to avoid infection. Never wear someone else's shoes or share nail clippers and files. If you have an infection already, try not to use that same nipper or clip or scissors or whatever you want to call across. You have other nails too because it's easy to spread the infection. If you have access to a steriliser and you can sterilise your product before using it, or do the healthy nails first, then come back to the fungal nail and sterilise it. If you go to a nail salon for a pedicure, make sure that staff are sanitising tools and thoroughly disinfecting foot baths before each use. Nail fungus is better prevented than treated. It's caught early. Nail fungus may clear with an over-the-counter antifungal cream, lotion, gel or lacquer. However, most fungal nail infections require prescription antifungal medication. Fungus can take up to a year to clear, so it's important to begin treatment as soon as it's diagnosed. It's important to get the right antifungal treatment, as moulds and yeasts may require different treatments. What are the best treatments for fungal nail infections? Thankfully, there are lots of treatments available. Drawback is time. Fingernail infections are usually quicker to cure than toenail infections. There are three main treatments. The first one is nail lacquers. A nail lacquer contains an antifungal medicine called 5% amorolphine. You can get this over the counter from most pharmacies. I recommend this if it is only affecting one or two nails. Otherwise, it's not likely to work. You have to use it for three to six months on fingernails and for up to a year on toenails. Amorolphine 5% medicated nail lacquer should not be applied on the skin around the nail. If this treatment has not helped after two months, talk about other options for treatment. You may need tablets, so the second option is antifungal tablets like itraconazole or terbinafine. These tend to work better than the nail lacquers, but need to be taken for several months. They can interact with a few medications and cause issues on the liver for some people, so either these are available on prescription. You have to take oral antifungus six weeks to three months for fingernails and for three to six months for toenails. You should notice an improvement after one month of treatment. You can try 2% ketoconazole cream, 2% myconazole cream, or clotrimazole 1% cream. Follow the directions on the package. You have to use two to three times per day for four to six weeks. Is there any other natural products? My number one recommendation is apple cider vinegar. It is actually fantastic, will help to slow down the process of the fungal infection, also helps clear bacteria, and keeps in this a healthier, happier environment. How to use it? You can use apple cider vinegar mix in with a bit of water and doing a foot soak for up to 10 to 15 minutes, followed by a salt water soak. Repeat once or twice a week. 
The information how to do that is going in the description below. My number two recommendations are to use nature's antiseptic, tea tree oil, tea tree oil diluted in water and apply cotton the toenail daily. Apply it into the web spaces of your hands or toes. We hope these tips help you to get rid of fungal nail infections you've been suffering from. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye.